Here we go. So I'll say again, welcome to the Sim Racers Arms. This is the first race of the evening in Automobilista 2, and we are in a Gen 1 GT3, which is definitely slower than the Gen 2s. So we're going to defend down the inside as best we can. We're going to watch out for any crashes, and we're going to tiptoe. Oh, we've got a spinner on the exit. We've got spinners in the mirror. Oh, somebody's just tagged me. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Code Zero. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. So, well, somebody nudged code zero, and then he had the back of me again. I do like that little haptic indication that the front, front tyres are locking. It's just subtle enough for me to uh, feel without being too distracting. I think that's the problem is a lot of these things, it's like the motion rigs a lot of people, once they've spent time with them, turn them quite low down and it's more a case of the subtlety of the uh, information rather than the, the drama of everything happening. Especially if you were uh, trying to be a little bit competitive. Frame rate's taking a hit. Oh, good slip stream. Oh. And he's off on the grass. Been a good race so far, a couple of little incidents. Is anybody going to have a guess on what the theme is for tonight's schedule? Do you want to see the list of tracks we're going to down in the description below? The clouds have burnt away here at Bathurst in race number one. Oh, I thought I was going to hit him straight through. I don't know who that was. My dashboard's lit up for a, a purple. No, it's gone green again, so I thought we're on for the fastest lap. I can't imagine me keeping a fastest lap, not with the guys who are in the GT3 Gen 2s, which are definitely quicker than this. Right, I've got a bit of breathing space in that. Uh-oh, got a big crash. I didn't see who it was. Oh, I'm in the wall. Just threw me that just enough to put me off my rhythm through that last section of the mountain down into the elbow. Down Conrad we go. Second time. How serious am I gonna take the racing in this live stream? What do we what do we reckon? Are we gonna be serious? Are we just gonna aim for Nice battles. Should I qualify for the rest of the remainder of the live stream? Oh no, we were quite a way off at the fastest lap in the end. the curb just to nudge us back into straight line. That little McLaren of Crikes behind is absolutely rocketing in a straight line.
Oh. We were having a serious wiggle through that right hand back. Concentrated. Oh, I didn't want to hit the brakes for a hack, so it... More like a rally station. Still out of control. Back under control. <laughs> So we're patching AR Tichy up. It's great to see so many regulars straight into the lobby. I did jump into a couple of uh, open lobbies earlier in the week. I had a lovely race at Brands Hatch in the Patreon Superlight. I will be driving that this evening. Well, this evening, I keep calling it this evening. This live stream. It's not evening for everybody. And, and, big news. We had sunshine today. <laughs> it's kind of gone in hiding already, and we're supposed to have rain again later. But gonna have to go defensive. So we had a nice temperature of 19 Celsius today in the sunshine. Perfect. Exactly how I like it. See you, Matt. Oh, we've got a hot track team. 45 degrees on track. Hung out. Good slick stream. So we've got two minutes plus one lap. So two laps. Ten minutes plus one. Sliding it a little bit too much. Or a dive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crikes. Oh, look at the time penalty I got for going wide there, trying to lose space. Well, well done, crikes. Great move. <laughs> Twenty-one seconds. We've really got to get the hammer down there. If you want to chat with the Alder Drive gang, there's three of us over in the Voice channel over on Discord. Link in the description down below. Oh, we're on the dirty bit there. Oh, Martin's had a spin behind us, I think. We need to smoothen out our driving over the mountain there. Oh, Crikes is in wall. See the way it sparked and the concrete dust that flew up then from Crikes striking against it. Looks spectacular in front of me. It looks spectacular. Oh. That wasn't smoother. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I need to be closer. I made a real pig's ear of that final corner. Coming out of the mountain. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for all the likes. Welcome along. Can you spot what the theme is in the schedule? You want to see the tracks that we're doing. I've got a list of all the tracks we're going to cover this evening or on the live stream. Right, he's being very patient. Oh, my brake pedal was screaming then. Fully locked up. I'll let you know what the theme is towards the end of the live stream if you haven't if nobody's guessed it we will be going to Campo Grande next multi-class oh, Crates has got an absolute storm around so there look at the traction he had Track tempo has gone down one degree. These tyres are struggling. And what we've also discovered, I don't know why we've only just discovered it, because we've been doing longer races for quite a while, is that the, uh, and it makes absolute sense, because that's what happens in real life, is the fuel usage is a lot higher when you've got a full tank. Somebody's left body work. Yeah, come on, we should have been closer. There's one of those great big stutters again. Now, my frame rate's better than it was on Tuesday because I've got rid of the post processing that I accidentally left on. However, it doesn't answer why those big stutters are happening. Closing in. Hello! Great Tantrum. <laughs> I love that name. <laughs> Welcome along. <laughs> I don't have many of those anymore. Welcome along. Murray Walker was having a little peek to see who was at the, uh, at the subscriber door. Thank you for joining. Are you, are you joining us in a race? Don't be shy, say hi in uh, chat. I got distracted by Rafa's message, just announced for now. Oh, a bit of late Discord now. Uh, somebody in YouTube chat has just put, just announced Fernando Alonso resigned with Aston Martin, or from Aston Martin. I wonder what's going on there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, Len says, Matt, can you tell Petrolhead that I just wanted to give him a little love tap at the top of the hill? There you go, Petrolhead. <laughs> Crikes, I had... Say again, sorry? Yeah, it has. Even... Yeah. Uh, we're going to Campo Grande next. There is, there is a bit of a theme to the uh, race schedule tonight, but it's it's kind of subtle but obvious at the same time. I know that sounds a bit strange, but when you hear me say what it is, if nobody guesses by the by the end of the live stream, go on then. No. <laughs> good good tr good try. Uh, Craigs, I had way too much down for us, I think. I don't know, you was doing pretty well. Well, you clearly had a bit more than me because you was you was gaining so quickly through the the twisty sections. Uh, Rafa, the Alonso Aston Martin deal is for the, uh, is for at least twenty twenty six. 
Great Antrim, YouTube recommended me. Oh, that's nice to hear. Thank you for that feedback. I do appreciate that. Whereabouts in the world roughly are you, Great Antrim? Are you UK, America? Where, where, where about roughly are you in the world? Uh, oh, re-signed. <laughs> are you? Are you, Pete? No, sorry. Uh, Rafa, who is... Uh, I forgot where whereabout in the world he is. Uh, he, he mistyped. It's re-signed. <laughs> <laughs> for <a> Aston Martin <laughs> and uh, he's there till 2026 <laughs> oh, thank you Rafa <laughs> yeah, Ra Ra Rafa <laughs> Rafa's all the way over in Brazil so <laughs> Right, next one is Campo Grande, and I'm going to go in one of my favourite cars in Automobilista 2. <laughs> uh, great tantrum, been, wa been wanting Automobilista 2, just never got around to buying it. Now is probably, well not now, but when there's a sale on, if you can wait, is probably the best time to get it. Um, it's so well developed now, and it looks so nice as well. Uh, Len Matt is going viral. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, great Dandrum, you're from California, eh? Hey, hey. Hang on, hang on. Let's just wa wave a flag for. Let's wave a flag for you. There you go. Look at that. It's almost like I knew you was going to be here, Great Dandrum. Normally I stick to just a checkered flag. That's kind of a bit of a theme. But... Oh, we've got a lot of people in here. If the lobby is full, once we get racing, we will be looking on the next one to create a new lobby and go password protected. Uh... Cryx, I see the races are following alphabet, but I don't know if it can be the theme. No, it's not the theme. There's a reason it's an alphabetical order, but that's not the theme. Welcome along, everybody. Thank you so much for all the likes. Well, hello, uh, Rob. Just joined. Welcome along. How are you, Rob? Whereabouts in the world are you, Rob? Are you UK or America or... France or Portugal or Austria or Germany or Sweden. We've got people from all over Portugal, Spain. Uh, Cryx game doesn't want me to change car. Oh no, you might have to come out and go back in again. Uh, great tantrum do you also play in vr no i don't vr is something that uh, i haven't gotten to yet mainly because of content creation uh, i'm not comfortable with the thought of wearing something over my face with you guys i like to interact i like to read as many comments as i possibly can um i reply to all the comments in all my videos as well so uh you guys are what keeps me doing this and the the interaction with you guys so i'm not sure about vr Something I wanted to look at this year, and there's a good few guy uh, the regulars that have VR and keep nagging me to get into VR. So we'll see at the end of the year. We'll we'll have a look at the situation and maybe do a little bit if we can. Uh, Rob, I'm Nixer in the McLaren. Ah, hello Nixer. Great to have you on board. All right, let's have a look. I don't think I need 46 laps of fuel in this tiny little 500 kilogram car doubling the weight of it <laughs> right can't get out of the pits oh we can't there we go i do like this i'm gonna go stick shifting as well len the gt3 looked gigantic against the two <laughs> i can imagine it'll be interesting to see how they compare 
on the court on the wiggly bits who doesn't like a wiggly bit yes don't forget to like subscribe super chat and all that jazz welcome along thank you so much for joining if it's your first time here you're very 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 welcome indeed and if you're a long-standing regular I am so happy that you've supported the channel for so long why oh we need to stop we need to stop we need to stop we have got traction control so if your car has traction control and you know it shouldn't have go into options gameplay switch it off in driving assist allowed what happens is we have um, driving assist off uh, sorry we have in the lobby the driving assist switched on which forces it onto all cars for those people on controller however you can manually override that by coming into this section and turning it off well I'm try again I want to be able to at least do a donut without crashing into the wall that didn't work at least I know that the traction control is no longer on Right, well, must remember to stick shift. Right, I'll be right back. Missed it. Oh well, I'm back. <laughs> that was a quick be right back, wasn't it? <laughs> I, I had what looked to be a very important phone call coming in and I missed it. But never mind. Carlos, can't see the like button right below the video. Are you watching on full screen? Right, let's let's try all of that again. Great tantrum. If you've never played in VR, it's a game changer. But I do, do, do hear you about the interaction with your audience. Yeah, I think I think it might be a, a mixed thing that I do. I th it may even be that I, I do VR for championship races, which we're currently doing three championship races a week. Old tires are ready. Supposed to be stick shifting. How's the game audio? Because we had problems on Tuesday with the game audio, and I can see like hear like uh, an echo. It feeding back into the headphones. Ah, I wonder. If, ah, I wonder if that's. Oh, my brain's working overtime now. <laughs> if you press the like button, a cat in the world will be fed. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, can, I can kind of see your twisted logic there. <laughs> there they fed. Oh, hello. Gripped up really strange on the front. No, Matt, you're not here to play.
How are you, Mike? How's the, how's the weather in Mike land? We've had it nice and sunny here today, Mike. 19 degrees, which is kind of more what we've got used to over the last few years. Here in Blighty. Almost the middle of April. Hello. to be had right let's have a cleaner lap half a second found in the hairpin so much for all the likes very very generous of you to click that Come on, come on, come on. Three seconds up on our previous. What's at the top of the tree of the catrums and we're having big glitches again. Drifting it. Hello, too much curb and really hot <laughs> right rear tyre. 96 degrees on the right rear. Let's cool these tyres down. Uh, April Fool's weather, it's spring, just kidding, we're having some snow. <laughs> Wow, it has been known on uh, a couple of occasions during my lifetime that we've had snow in May. Twice, I think. Let's try and call these tyres out a bit. 17, 17 degrees on Tuesday, now it's 5. Well, it, the opposite way around for us yesterday was in the morning was 5 degrees, 6 degrees. And then today was 19, absolutely crazy with it. Let's wait for this car to come past. Check there's nobody else coming while we uh, cool our tyres down as best we can. Still got just enough fuel. Oh, we've only got eight seconds left. I've timed that wrong. <laughs> I was calling the tyres down and then realised I'm not going to get across the finishing line. So we're going to have some fun in the last two laps, uh, two corners. start. Tiny bit too much water in oh, there. Back to the pits. Ooh. I'm not quite sure how many laps we're going to do. What do we do it in? So it's like seven plus that, eight laps. Eight laps. We'll put eleven in. 
Everything else can stay the same. Drop that down a little bit. Average <laughs> colleague from Skein. Uh, how do you pronounce that? It can't be Skein. I can't be pronouncing that right, can I? Uh, same in latitude as Denmark already have cut their lawns. Yeah, we, I've cut ours once already, but it it's definitely needs doing again. Tip, typical Brit talking about the weather. <laughs> Here we go. Just need to turn that down again. Here we go. Welcome along, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for all the likes. <laughs> Let's just change that to live chat, not top chat. Just bring it down a tad. Right. Oh, has anybody guessed the theme of the schedule of the of the of the of the live stream? There is a thing. Oh, we got Phil siding. We got Epi Pro stigging. <laughs> who, who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Anybody? Anybody sandbagging? Anybody sandbag? Yeah, yeah. We got hamburger. Ati boy. Grandpa sandbagging at the back trying to go zero to hero let's see who's there still yeah see all the see all these down here see all these from hamburger down they're all sandbagging and they want to be they want to be heroes here we go Len cannot get war can, not, can, I can't speak <laughs> I, can, I cannot get warm with this track I really don't have enough experience on it. Uh, yeah, well, it's another reason to practice. That long corner, I hate it. it it's a lot of fun in this uh, catering. Drifting round. Never get the line right. It is awkward. It is, it is a tricky tra uh, corner. The only reason I know it is... Um, it's because it, this track appeared <coughs> on a three lap challenge. Uh, average mic A is more like uh, A O or a very hard O pronunciation. Yeah, because uh, Joseph was trying to uh, educate me and the, the little mark above the A has a, a certain meaning. Is it waterfall? Is it? Matty boy, tea bag. <laughs> tea bag, what? <laughs> you calling me a tea bag? <laughs> I don't like tea. 20 seconds left. This is going to be interesting. I can't get my drink. Where's my drink going? Ow. Tidying under the flag. Here we go. Here we go. And then we'll start. Oh, I nearly went early. Oh, I was going to block off the inside line. Cold tires, everybody. Cold tires. No. Okay. Sounds interesting. So you are are you racing now or not? 
Oh, okay. GT3 is gone. I do like my catering racing, even if it's not against caterings. Woo. Anyone seen Masters of the Air? I have seen half of it. No! Band of Brothers in Bombers. Oh, I like the sound of that. I think we're going to catch anybody, but if we can stay in front of the other caterums, I'll be happy. This track, oh, sorry, this corner is so tricky. It's so dusty on the outside. The second you go off the racing line, you spin. I think I've still got the uh, DVD or Blu-ray box set of Band of Brothers. Don't go offline, it's really dusty. <laughs> no. There goes the Porsche. One slip through. Hamburger, hamburger. <laughs> Stop it, hamburger. <laughs> Give me your slick stream, if nothing else. Back curb grabs you and pulls you. Time to cut the rear tyres. Oh, that was a bit quicker through there. Uh, absolutely, Mike. Absolutely. I don't think any of my family were in the uh, RA. Uh, but I know a good handful were in the Navy. And a good handful in the Army. Hands and German turkey shoots, absolutely horrendous. Ooh, we nearly got that so wrong. Trying to control a bit of the wheel spin by not going into through some of these corners. That's how you're supposed to do that corner. You not tucked right into the apex. Matt, that's how you're supposed to do all corners. <laughs> it's a bit difficult when you're slithering around.
what have we got left? Three and a half minutes plus another lap. Missed my braking point. Oh. Turned into a drifting session. Oh, that was a lot of fun. So we've got IMSA going to Long Beach this weekend. That'll be very interesting racing. The LMDHs and the GT3s hammering it around Long Beach. We've also got Caterhams at Snexton Park here in the UK this weekend. As it starts to go hazy. Oh, four tenths up. I don't know what we did right, but we did something right. But the rear right tyre is ninety five degrees. just to slow it down a little bit oh, 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 oh. come on come on come on there you go oh we've got a battered GT3 Porsche looking like a VW Beetle with the amount of damage it's carrying that's a third gear if you go why why have I got these stutters again nine minutes in we had that on the last one as well we need to we need to keep a log up. I don't know how to. I don't know if I hit the mark button. Oh, I was trying to stay out of the way. I thought he might have enough overspeed to come round the outside of us into that corner, but we should have inside now. There he goes. The leader lying in the GTE Corvette to give Crikes a chance to close the gap a little bit. Another one goes through. <laughs> right, cause he's moving in for the kill. Oh, he's going to have a good slipstream up straight. <coughs> no, he's not. I missed my gear change. Here he comes. And we've got another front runner coming up. Where is it? McLaren is there. Oh, the back marker. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, Nika. We're having a weird battle. Come on, Miss. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh no! 
we're having our private little bout. <laughs> and along came the fourth and fifth place to get mixed in the middle of it all. Another one's going past. Oh, snappy. It's our turn. Here it goes. There's a slick stream working. Oh, mate, on the dust. Might end in tears. Oh, holding it on the throttle. Still holding on the throttle with the mother car around the outside of us. <laughs> Formula 3 around the outside of us. Slamming into second. Oh, they haven't survived, neither of them. Oh, how did we do that? I'm nearly in control. Chuck it in. Oh, crikes! <laughs> oh, hello. Bit of, bit of post checkered flag shenanigans. <laughs> Let's have a look at the bonnet of this catering because the, the detail is quite nice on some of these cars. Yeah, it looks about right. It's a little bit simplified under that one. Some of them are really detailed. There you go, everybody. <laughs> oh, crikes! <laughs> <laughs> and when I saw you go, go, go into that bend, I thought you, you, you've either missed your braking point or you're feeling very brave. The 360R Caterham, known as the Super Light in AMS2, ends race two. How many people we got in? We've got 24 of a potential 30 plus. So we might leave this lobby as it is for now. Go one more and then see how we are and maybe go password protected after that. Welcome along, everybody. Thank you so much for all the likes. That was a fantastic race. There's a, a few little dings and brushes with death. And <laughs> as it is in an open lobby, we are going to Cascaval now. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's really dusty out there on that track as well. Ask about. We're going to have something a bit quicker for this. What shall we have for this one? Mm. Mm. Thinking. Thinking. Still thinking. Ask about. Uh, sweeping right and. Uh, oh, I know which one it is. It's not a bad track, actually, but I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll stick with this one. I don't know. Shall I? Shall I stick with the Durotech YouTube land, or shall I go for something else? Let me know in the uh, in the live chat. What should I do? Oh, a lot of people are in GTEs. Some people have stayed in the caterings. Hiya, Pete. Oh, okay, don't mate. Which, which shoulder? Which, which shoulder? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, okay, the opposite to me then. <laughs> or, all right, buddy, no problem. Oh, okay, don't I will do. Cheers, mate. See you later. Gee, Crikes had to slow for you. Felt bad seeing you get bashed back off the track by the blue flag car. <laughs> Len, I've just driven these cars at Hockenheim yesterday. They're very, they are indeed. They should be okay here, actually, thinking about it. So we'll see how we get on in this next lobby. Or sorry, next race. Um, race number three. And... We'll, we'll see about having a password at some point. Let's see how we get on. Hi, Pete. Other Peters 
Brother Peter's just knackered his shoulder up in that race, so he's uh, he's had, had to go and rest it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and getting old. <laughs> oh. that, that weren't too bad, that race, so I'm going to leave it as it is for now, but I am kind of very poised to go password protected, so we'll see how this one pans out. Yeah. Thing is, password password won't fix that if they watch the channel, the uh, live stream. Yeah. Yeah. Carlos. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right, I'll catch you in a bit, Pete. Uh, Len, <laughs> you do indeed. We might have some slippy fun at some point. I'm not sure which track to use those in yet. Uh, Carlos, great spring day, 27 plus degrees. That sounds nice. Uh, Crikes, was my mistake for going off track in the first place. <laughs> Saint Tucci. But well, thanks for the position. <laughs> it got crazy to me. It certainly did. The speed them GT3s were coming through. The li little tiny caterums. Caterums are less than... Uh, what are they? About half the weight of... No, less than half the weight of the GT3s. Right. It's been a while since I've driven this one. <coughs> You need to leave and come back in. I think there's still plenty of spaces. Yeah, you might have to shut the game down and start again. Right, I'm, I'm going to ask again. Uh, Len, I can't drive for some reason. What is that a general statement or in AMS2? Because uh, Petrolade's just had a problem, he's having to exit the game and come back in again. I just treated myself to a grid penalty. Let me know if the problem continues and try shutting the uh, game and starting again. Oh, hello. This feels a lot different to the Caterham, as, as you would expect. <laughs> Craig, same for you. Chris Lang, same there. Uh, what, what's going on? Because, like I say, Petrolead's just had a bit of an issue as well. So he's shutting his game down and trying again. I've just had a bit of a glitch. <laughs> Lane well things. <laughs> oh, well, ATI boys the same. What is going on? I've definitely got to ask the question of Riser. I said it the, the last couple of uh, live streams since since they've had my in-game handle. I th I've got a feeling they're monitoring the live stream or the lobbies that they're running, and the data that they're drawing is that. It, is done in a similar process to the ranked racing and that's causing these glitches and problems for everybody that's my kind of gut instinct and logic on it oh hello oh hello that's not that's not right is it let's just turn that up a little bit chris lang you're back in okay it works now says cryx exit the lobby and go back in Sound like a plan, right? We need to tone that right the way down and send it to the back a bit. Let some fresh air into everywhere. Uh, engine braking needs to stay on that. It's almost like the turbo staying still, it's still spooled up when you come off the throttle. I get that sometimes in the GT1s or the Group C's, no, Group C's. 
every now and again this strange feeling that the turbo still pumping the uh, the engine with air and fuel or driving the engine I should say uh, let's try that so has anybody get guessed the theme subtle but very obvious once you realize I thought somebody out there might have guessed by the time we got to track through it or race number three. Oh, it's a manual shift as well. I don't know whether my shoulder's going to let me do manual shifting for this one. AMS2 is looking very, 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 very nice indeed with the, the shine across the track. Thank you for the likes. I'm glad you managed to get back in. And it's working. I, I think whatever happens at the end of this race, we will create a new lobby. And just flush out any issues we might be having. go oh we get away with third round there what we got next we got Curvello after this race wait for the group to come back Yeah, that turbo wound up. Still a bit of slipstream. Oh, we could cause ourselves some issues going into the last turn. There's that big stutter again. Stop it! Uh, when it when that happens, I'm driving from the feel of the force feedback and memory of the track. <laughs> Luckily, it was in a straight line. I'm not going to get stopped. I'm not going to get stopped. I knew I'd gone into that way too quick. I don't know whether you noticed, but I, I snuck sixth, sixth gear over the brow of the hill. And then it suddenly dawned on me. I, I'd not done that before, and I was probably carrying way too much speed. And, fair enough, I was right. like an angry wasp this car can we hit 30 likes before 6 6 p.m that would be nice there's a little target for you youtube watchers out there help the sim racers arms get to 30 likes before 6 p.m well 6 p.m here <laughs> the understeer. Right, we need to get that section better because we can definitely go through that right hander in third, but we need to get it slowed down and enough. So it might be a cheeky shift down to second, then immediately back up to third. Be interesting to see how quick it is compared to the uh, Formula 3 in front. He scared me. I suddenly realised how quick I was gaining on him.
Right, let's try again. Slightly quicker going wider. We weren't quite how I wanted to go, but we are still up. However, the Formula 3 had me a bit twitchy again. Lost a bit of time. Oh, we can just about get away with that much over the curves. That's better. We need to be more consistent there. That's what we need to find consistent. Oh, no, that's not how you do it. <laughs> it was fun. Away we go again. Can we get one more like in the next five minutes? One more like in the next five minutes. That's all we need. Where do we finish amongst the P4s? Whoa, look at the time Matt has got in fifth in his P4 there. Absolutely flying. One second faster. What's he doing? Oh, he's, he must have a magical setup. He must have got his little one day. <coughs> That's what he calls it, apparently. What have we got? What are we doing? 103s. 103s. 10, 11. So 11 laps. Come on, let me continue. Oh, Carlos will get a penalty, one good place. What did you do, Carlos, to get that penalty? Thank you so much for the 30 likes. Right, your challenge now is 31 likes, and you've got four minutes to hit 31. We're going we're gonna to play this auction game again. So, we're going to go plenty of fuel. <coughs> Tempted to play with the setup a little bit, but uh, do we? Oh, don't mess with the setup just before a race. Classic. Oh, look what he's just done. He's messing with the setup. All right, ten oh, minutes plus one lap. Your is on. No full course yellow, unless an accident. There we go. Right. I'll have a, a little sip of drink before we get going. I've got penalty on the pit speed. Ah, oh, bad luck, Carlos. Mind you, you're in the, you're, there's only two of you in the uh, GTEs, so you've got a good chance. So many people have followed my uh, followed my pick. Fair <laughs> play, everybody. <laughs> right, we've got two minutes to get 31 likes. I dare you to click that like if you haven't already. Dare you. Double dare you. Sonberg, same. Oh, no. I'm ready up on me, out. So 
Something's burning. I hope it's not an orange there. <laughs> There's all that, always that thing that goes through your head. You can smell something burning. Is it where I am? Right, we can't can't do the a manual start because we're uphill. Crikes got an absolute storming star. I think it was Crikes. Luckily, we were holding the inside line. Try not to whirl spin too much. Be nice to play with the uh, Formula Three car. Mega understeer. Oh, Matt! If we were smoother, we could have been playing with that number four man. Extra wide. Slap on the wrist. Waiting for the group to come back. Crikes was having a cheeky look. Get round. <laughs> Swing out, sister. Ah, oh, you've missed your chance to get to 31 likes before 6 o'clock. Excellent effort on the 30, mind you. Really do appreciate that. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the like. I think Crikes is running their magical setup. Mind you, Slipstream is worth quite a lot in these because of the aero. If you want to join Discord, click on that link in the live chat. Take you through to the Sim Racers Arms Discord channel. It's growing absolutely lovely at the moment. There's lots of inf info over on the Discord channel, including lots of old photos from my racing past. It's, it's not glamorous. Really, nevertheless, it's there. It exists. Oh, I can't get... Talk to you. That slipstream is worth a hell of a lot in these cars. A bit of aero wash on the front end then. This is another one of the circuits that have been updated to have a dusty, dirty edge to the circuit where cars have run wide. Oh, like me. Straight back out the front. He's running literally no aero on that car in front. So I know what he's like. SS Racing coming under pressure from Cryx. A mixed. I think SS Racing must have been recovering from an incident coming onto the start finish straight because he's starting to pull away from Crikes now and that's what you'd expect to happen it's got that much more grunt under the bonnet who's coming to join us at the front now came from the, it's that Matt well it had to be Matt didn't it 
with these lights ablaze. It's intimidating enough when he's behind you at the best of times for then. Putting the candles on the front. Here he comes. Zero downforce. And we've got a Formula 3 joining the fun. Looks like a Ferrari in that red. Oh, good driving from Matt's there. He realised we were going to be three wide by the time we got to the apex. I thought these P4s would have been a similar speed to the... Uh, Uh oh Similar speed to the uh, F3s, but clearly not. Oh, sorry, hamburger. I don't know whether that was me or hamburger then, whether I braked a little bit too much. About similar to the previous lap. Oh, look at the serious clouds up there, look. That was a bit better. Be nice to catch up with the ones in front, though. Thank you for the new one likes. Very generous of you, indeed. No, 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 no. <laughs> the understeer started coming back. Three goes are getting it turned in there. Oh, we got a GT3 Gen 2 coming. It's a port, green Porsche with his single green headlight. He should be past us down the next straight. Oh, we might not. That was better again. Which side are you going? Oh, my word. Oh, <laughs> I need to. Need to. Uh, here we go. Right. Carry on driving it as if this image is still moving, Matt. It cost me a bit of time, that one. Again, about eight minutes in. behind me. It's a Yeti. I think that's how you might pronounce that. Oh, just about steered away from a what track warning. Oh. The ace I've got. Oh, they're bunching up in front. Come on, car. Two goes again, he turned in then. That 
that front right tyre is doing really well considering the punishment it gets through that turn one. Use the kerb. Ooh, it might be third through the last corner. You gotta get it right though. I think a cheeky second gear shift down on the way in. That last corner I am doing awful around. Last, last few corners. Oh, I was doing it wrong the whole race. Still not too bad. 21 seconds behind the leader. Somebody's ended up <laughs> SS Racing. What are you doing all the way over there, SS Racing? <laughs> all the trees look really nice, don't they, since the update? Look at all that. They look really good. Look at all the trees. Can we tell what they are? Uh, got no engine sound again, Matt. Wow, okay. So after, after the last couple of glitches, Pete, it looks like... How's this for a weird one? It's knocked out my engine sound. But everything else is there. Just the engine sound. Uh, I'm suddenly uh, in the last... Uh, last race and this race, I was getting like one or two second glitches where the screen was freezing. But the sound and the force feedback were carrying on. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I think I'm going to do a new lobby. And see if that flush, flushes out problems. Yeah, so I'm going to do that now. Right, we're going to do a shutdown of AMS2 and a restart and see if that flushes out the issues. Yep, still it. We'll be on race for. Okay. Do you, do you remember his name? What what track did we just do? <laughs> I've forgotten already. <laughs> Cascaval, yeah. I thought, I thought I'd miss one then. Cheers, Matt. See you again. I am setting up another lobby. I just wanted to restart the game and flush out any issues. Right. 
Alright. Let's see what he says. Arms. Number two. Ask about. I was literally just thinking that. Normally by quarter past six, the regulars have joined on Discord, so. So everything else should be the same. It's remembered all the cars. So new lobby's up. As it is at the top of the screen. Who's going to be the first in? Uh, I tried it on Tuesday. No, yesterday. Um, and the first thing, the first thing I got was a bug splatter. It didn't even boot up. It just went straight into bug splatter. But there's rumour now that um, they might not be bringing out the full version. They're running out of money. They're, they're leaking money like a hole in a bucket. And player numbers have steadily dropped over the last three weeks as well. Well, they, they, also, they also had to reverse one of the patches, didn't they? Because it broke more than it fixed. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see what happens. There's so much promise in that game. I hope they do manage to carry on. Uh, loosely, I think. <laughs> well done, Erchi. <Archie. laughs> Yeah, it's all slowed right down for them, hasn't it? <laughs> Hi, Eddie. How you doing? Yeah, I think RF2 and Race Room might be the end of those guys. Yeah, it just became a little bit stale, didn't it? And um, lack of updates as well. There's there's a, there's a lot to like in Race Room. I, 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 one of the, my favourite things is that you get to try the cars before you buy them. I think I think that should be in every single sim racing game that, that does DLC. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, be interested to see what happens. Right, I'm be I'm gonna have some fun. I'm going in the uh, Corvette C three R. <laughs> Can I have some coffee? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They don't watch it, yeah. Yeah, if, when you have the uh, the dips in blood sugar and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sounded like a plan. No worries, Pete. Right, we are on race four. And we are Curvello Long. And I've probably picked completely the wrong car for this one. Hey, D. No, nobody's guessing what the theme is of tonight. It's a tricky one. But once you once you once you know, you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is this is definitely the wrong car for this track. beast <laughs> this car's hilarious and this track you can get away with so much corner cutting on this track How's the, how's the sound now? Have we, have we got engine sound? Or have we still lost it? <laughs> How ridiculous. A car like this makes me grin so much. See that little car under the uh, that beef or under the bonnet of this car. It's probably the best car for this circuit, I think. Right? Can't find the theme either. Oh, I'll, I'll let you know at the at the end of the stream. Oh, what is that? Come on! Oh, we didn't invalidate it. There's a GT3 going off or a GTE in the background. A BMW, I think it was. Thank you for all the likes, I really do appreciate it. We've got those stutters back again. That me oh, completely missed my brake is. I'll have to go round again. That's what you do, Matt, it's a race wreck. I'll give you a clue as to the theme when we get to the last last race and if you haven't guessed it after the clue because I can only give you one clue it's a big clue feather in the throttle too much Brazilian stock car what, what about it Chris the, the answer is no but what makes you say Brazilian stock car <laughs> in, in, in fact if that was your I don't even know whether you were just saying Brazilian stock car or whether that was a guess <laughs> I assumed you was guessing <laughs> tracks um potentially some I don't think all of them are if they are I've accidentally picked them Oh, 
I was too busy trying to read the number plate. <laughs> Why does my brain do that? My brain does that. <laughs> Initially, my brain was like, does it say pizza in that number plate? <laughs> so I'm trying to read it. No, come on. Set a time. You can, you can do this trap. Have some more drifting to go with the drifting there. I want to calm it down because I want to pull our tyres for the next attempt. Oh, wow. Niblet, hello, how are you? We're, we're, we're playing guessing games at the uh, at the sing pub again. The, there's a theme for today. It, it's a very subtle theme, but a very obvious one once you realise what it is. It's supposed to be calming the tyres down, that not lighting them up. The tracks so far have a similar environment, it feels like, but uh, next race is Daytona, so it can't be like that. No. Nice effort. I like, I like your logic. I like your thinking. Don't forget to like, subscribe, maybe even consider super chatting like Peter Smith did on Tuesday night, but only if you can afford it. Again. You have to break so early in this car. And that torque just lights the rear axle up. And also, if you're new to the channel, there's a thing called the Sim Racers Randomizer. Click on that link and it'll take you through to the Kofi page where you can either have access to it for free or you can pay a small donation towards the channel and the upkeep of the said randomizer. You just need to like blip the throttle just before an apex just to get the back end to swing round. See where that puts us. 14th. Somebody never told this car there was a corner coming up. And it really needs to get round it. <laughs> I think this was a <laughs> Well, the thing is, whilst you're on your own, drifting around, it's quite a lot of fun. However, when you see a GT3 car coming and trying to squeeze past on a qualifying lap, <laughs> and this, this ginormous boat is hanging its tail out, <laughs> you do feel sorry for him trying to get past. 
I will have to put a little note in the uh, chat. <laughs> have a, uh, faster cars have a bit of patience with these slidey balls. And then they, you may have to wait till after the corner is completed. explain how much fun this car is <laughs> and that that balance on the throttle <laughs> like a kid sorry mr gt3 for sorry gt3 gte car wherever you are behind What's up? Lost it out of the happy. Eddie, can't be IMSA Matt, did that last Tuesday, so I'm clear. <laughs> well, the one clue that I can give you, Len, means you're begging, which is pretty useless because it's, it's not really a clue to the, uh, to what the theme is. But I've all got 31 grid slots. <laughs> And we haven't been full yet tonight. Oh, we are. <laughs> Scroll down and find out we are. Come on. Thank you. Uh, uh, an itsy bitsy tiny one. Um, what can I say? And it, it, they've all got 31 grid slots. So far, it's all been in alphabetical order. Um, what else can we say? Plenty of fuel. Oh, look, it looks like it might rain. Don't see that. Um, oh, no, I want to leave that at that. And I wanted to drop that one. Um, um, uh, let, let me think if I can find a, a little uh, a little clue. <laughs> Maybe it's all. <laughs> Eddie, yep, we are full. Yep. Maybe it's all the tracks that got a dust update. Um, I think pretty much all of them have now, so it's not that. Not all of them have got the 3D trees at the side of the circuit update, I don't believe just yet. Um, Rafa, I know it's not Brazilian stock car because we raced at Bathurst. <laughs> yeah, that's one little clue. Yeah, there's the clue. I'm going to borrow your clue, Rafa. It's not Brazilian stock car related because we did Bathurst in Australia. <laughs> I know, it's all the tracks Matt spun out on the <laughs> That goes for every single track in Amist, especially, especially on streaming nights. <laughs> I'll have you know I won my championship race yesterday. <laughs> it was a tough one as well. We were all running out of fuel. Here we go. Have you got engine sound, by the way, on stream there? The next three races are oval rovals. Get off the grass. No. <laughs> oh. 
Concertina effect. <laughs> the car behind has just been kicked off. Look how wide the tyres are. How can this car have no barely any grip with the size of the tyres? You have to break. This is where the little the little cars and well, them any modern car basically will have have the upper hand on this Corvette because they can stop. Whereas the vet has to think about it for a very long time. Oh, hello. GTE squeezing through. Sounds fantastic. So easily done on that corner. Let's get the P4. <laughs> I thought we were going to drift down the entire length of the uh, back straight there. Don't be on the outside. Oh, no. Oh, tangling. <laughs> Bye, Darren. I wondered what the hell that was. I was, look, I was looking at my phone, I was looking at the screens. <laughs> well, say again. No, I didn't hear that one. Well, Peter Smith upset his shoulder in race three. And then Peter's uh, gone for something to eat and a, a bit of a break, I think. However, it doesn't explain where everybody else is to You're very quiet there, and I can barely hear you. Yeah. But the stream's done really well so far. GT3 spinning in front of me. Have you managed to get in the lobby because it was full at the start of this race? Oh, here we go with them stutters again. GT3 is barging through. Cars off everywhere. Yeah, a bit better, but he's still quiet. I lost the uh, engine sound on the live stream again. Well, I don't know if it's back now. I shut AMS2 down and restarted it. So I'm assuming it's back. It's back, is it? Ah, oh, good. That's a weird bug to have. I've got a DTM BMW who keeps gaining on me through the twiddly bits. The second this Corvette has a bit of a straight, 
can't get anywhere in there. It must be really frustrating for whoever's driving that BM. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in the C3 of all things. <laughs> I've just had this F3 trying and the outbreak mean you got it completely wrong. There is a theme as well tonight, Darren, and nobody can guess what it is. It's, it is a tricky theme, honestly. But when, when you hear what it is, you go, ah, oh, yeah. I can't say. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little, it's a little sim racers I'm guessing game at the moment. No, I'll let everybody know I'm the last race. No, no, nobody can guess it. There's been all sorts of guesses. No, no, no. See how quickly this little F3 car is. Straight line. He's come alongside me, now I'm leaving him for dead. I tried to get out of the way. Concentrating so hard on this thing slithering around. Yeah, well, it, it is when you're not under pressure and trying to get not get in the way of faster cars. Oh, they've had a coming together. Hey, right opportunity. What's the BMW going to do? Oh, the F3 got me. <laughs> I have no idea where he came from, but he's on his roof. I think he must have kept his foot in. <sighs> no, 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 he's upgraded all of his kit. Yeah, he's upgraded his rig. Um, pedals. Uh, oh, let's see the thing he's got. There's a couple other bits and pieces he's uh, upgraded to as well.
<laughs> Which is having a hell of a game in front trying to get it in a straight line. I don't know whether this is the last lap now. Is it one more? Or is this the last one? There will be one more. We haven't had the uh, races over so come on. <laughs> this car's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. I'm seeing because he's in camera. <laughs> Where did he go? Okay, we had a few issues earlier because Pete was in a position where he couldn't hit the re uh, the ready button. He couldn't even get to it. And then a few people, a few of the regulars couldn't actually drive. They just sat there. So I had to uh, shut it down and completely and restart the game. Right, we're off to Daytona next. Big choice of cars. I might go back in this just for a while. Len, well, that was fun. I was on the roof of a GTE car in the first corner and spun five times. Well done. I think you get a badge for that, don't you? Rafa, in my little P4, was putting pressure on the GTE the whole race and almost got P3 out of it. Yeah. I said, said that car was probably just right for this track. But she felt like James Dean driving through. <laughs> yeah, great fun these cars are. We're having a real good battle. I slowly reeled you in. I was, I was feathering the throttle a hell of a lot just to try to calm the rear end down. Right. Off to Daytona. Did you say you was in the lobby, Darren? Okay. Let's grab the. Uh... Yeah, somebody else couldn't change car either. Hmm. 
Mm. Sergio, hello, welcome along. Thank you for clicking on the Sim Racers arms and joining the fun and games. Whereabouts in the world are you, Sergio? Watch the replay. Uh, I can't really tell because I'm on that the lobby screen, so you can't see numbers of. Uh, oh, Carlos is about to leave. Well, I, I won't hit start. Uh, vote to start. See if you can get out and back in again. Have, uh have to have to tanks for the race. Is it? Oh, no. <laughs> me not reading properly. No worries, Carlos. Thank you so much for joining. Glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, well, it happened to me the week before, didn't it? I killed the engine and I can't believe we all ran out of fuel again. It's funny how we all run out of fuel just when it's slipstream. I don't understand why that keeps happening. Yeah, it's really odd. Sergio, I am the Audi A5. But whereabouts in the world are you? Are you in the UK? Are you Portugal? Are you South America? Where are you? Okay, do I'll smash the uh, vote to start. Oh, I've gone for the GTE, the Corvette. Thank you for joining the stream, Sergio. Thank you very much for clicking on this subscribe. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the like. <laughs> yeah, very easy to do. And that's what they do in real life as well when you sleep first. It's First at 70 mile an hour. <laughs> they don't like it. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, Sergio, ah, oh, you're from Brazil. Excellent. Thank you. So glad to have you. You, you. I take it you're driving an ADA5. Is that why you mentioned it? <clears throat> Very nice. Very nice indeed. Are you, are you joining us in the racing? It's taking a long time to load up at the moment. Uh, AMS2 is normally quicker than this. It's just that we've got so many cars to choose from. It obviously has to load each of the cars for, uh, into the game. Oh, Somberg speaking the lingo. Showing off again. Whilst we wait for this, shall we have a quick look at <coughs> the Sim Racers Arms randomizer? It hasn't made an appearance for a while. Here it is. Ah, oh, Len, thank you for clearing that up for me. I don't. There's a lot going on, and I don't always see things like you guys do. The Sim Racers Arms randomizer. You have access to it by clicking. On, well, if you go to that link there, or if you scan that bar, uh, QR code in, and um, when you get access to it, you can click two times and it will randomize the car and the track selection. So be sure to take a look if you're interested. Right. I think we'll leave it all as is. Probably need to tweak things. No, in fact, we'll go to reset defaults. Just notice the uh, game was all the way up, which means I haven't driven this for a very long time. Somewhere there should do. Eight laps, you'll be fine. A couple of clicks down on that. A couple of clicks up on that. Everything else can stay as it is. And away we go. <laughs> Sergio, yes, I, yes, uh, with the help of Len, 
he helped me understand what was going on. <laughs> and your name in game is Audi A5. Excellent choice. How, how's the weather in Brazil? We've had it not too bad. 19 degrees Celsius, which is quite a nice warm temperature for this time of year in the UK. So what, what, what lovely weather have you had over in Brazil today? I suppose, I suppose you've been basking in sunshine. Oh, the pit line. <laughs> I keep forgetting that the pit, uh, the pit line or the speed limit line in the pit is here. They moved it. It used to be further back where I pressed it, and I'll just press the button automatically. Right. <sighs> what? We've got no ABS, and we should have. And we got no traction control, and we should have. But we're gonna we're gonna do a lap. Len, the Corvette Classic takes up to ninety takes up ninety percent of my brain acting. Well, I went very quiet during that race, <laughs> concentrating on the drift and throttle control. So we got Darren Whitehouse just joined us in the lobby, and he's also over in the voice channel, over on Alder Drive. Eddie, I was hosting this weekend just with one car and it was loading also slow. Oh, okay. I wonder if it's something to do with the new tr 3D trees at the side of the track and the new the uh, dust along the track and stuff like that that they've updated. Oh, we got a bit more aero to take off, I think. At least we're not on the limiter at the end of the straight. The brakes are nice. Sergio, I live in Curitiba. Oh, hang on a sec. And it's a bit hot. Now it's 25 degrees. And it's quite early in the morning still, isn't it, for you? Or afternoon. Yeah, coming up to afternoon, I presume. Right, just, just, did you see my brain trying to work out your, your location and the time difference? <coughs> Yeah, it probably is, Eddie. Although I went, went into um, Le Mans Ultimate for the first time in ages yesterday, and that took so long just to load up um, Sebring. This is not a bad car for this circuit. We are miles off the pace, obviously. We got the Aero Boys at the top of the tree there. Well, Aero Boys and tons of talent at the top of the tree there. Thank you so much for all the likes. That's very, very generous of you. That's more respectable, Fifth. Not too heavy on them brakes. Nah. Found another half second already. I'm not being confident on the brakes for some reason. I think it's because of that Corvette. You train yourself in the Corvette to brake so early. Because of them steel rotors on it. In fact, I, I was sorting out a few bits and pieces on Tuesday. And I was going to show what I found on Tuesday stream. And I forgot all about them. They're just behind me here, so I will have a look in a minute. I want, just want to get uh, this lap in the bag if I possibly can.
I must say, Sergio, you because of AMS2, it's made me really appreciate the tracks that you've got in Brazil. Because the, the only way we ever got to see tracks in Brazil was through Formula One. There was no other footage of Brazilian race series for us until YouTube came along. And now some of your tracks are absolutely stunning. Oh, what can we do here? What can we do here? Maybe fourth for a little while. We can go again. Felt the brakes better that time around. Half a second in the bag already again. Just from breaking into turn one. No, don't lock up. Speak too soon. Commentator's curse. This is a very, very pointy car. Very on the nose. Kind of drives a little bit like the McLaren GT3. Very on the nose and very tail swingy. If you're still breaking too deep into a corner. Ah, oh, we went purple on our dash then. Messed it up on the exit. See what we can do through the bus stop. Now we kind of get in the hang of the braking. Nowhere near good enough. Hamburger's gone quicker. We're on a 42 4. Not good enough. We can definitely find more because we touched the wall a couple of times. Second. I don't think I can get near Hamburger's time, but we can get we can get closer, but not by much. And it's drive, this car drives really well with our ABS and traction control. So I had all that practice of sliding around in the uh, the old Corvette C3R. Has anybody guessed what the theme is? It's to do with the tracks, and it's not that they're in alphabetical order either. There's another common theme to all of the tracks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, even consider super chatting. Len, so I'm guessing GT3s are slower than the GTEs. Um, certain circumstances they are. But in theory, somebody who's got a bit of practice in the GTE should be quicker than... <laughs> Thanks, Darren. <laughs> yeah. That really stopped me in my tracks. <laughs> I do like that. <laughs> Thanks, Darren. <laughs> so, uh, Darren over in Voice Channel on Older Drivers just pointed out the name of fourth place man, Nincompoop. What a great name. Thank you for pointing that out, Darren. Uh, <laughs> as I was saying, Lynn, uh, GTEs in the right hands uh, should be as really competitive with the GT3 Gen 2s and maybe quicker on certain circuits. And definitely quicker than somebody who's not got that much experience in a GT3. Excellent work, everybody. Excellent work. La uh, race number five on the live stream at Daytona. Right. 
I will be right back. Bear with me. Have a guess what the theme is. What the theme is. Have a guess. I'm back. I'm back. Here we go. Get rid of the bird. I'm back. I said I'm back. Thank you so much for all the likes. Come on. What is the theme? Is the theme like they all host 12 hour races? Eddie, I like your guess, but I'm just not that clever. <laughs> I like your guess. They've all got something in common. Changing rear wing from eight to three, expected to die. Well, I don't even know where I'm on. Rear down forces on six. I'll go one lower. I'm not brave enough to go another one. Uh, I think I'm going to go just one click up on. There, we're going to save that. And we're going to be ready to go. Oh, I didn't see how much fuel I got in. More than enough fuel, but we'll, we'll go be extra. 10 minutes plus one lap. Fuel is on everyone. And there's no four calls below. Ready up or lose out. Oh, oh here we go. Slight, slightly turning to the left. Sergio, changing rear wing. Oh, sorry, the F3 car was a bad choice. <laughs> well, you've got to, you've got to try it. Drift in the Corvette. Sounds amazing, that Porsche RSR next to me. Oh, somebody's coming in really fast and deep. I didn't think he was going to make it without using my brakes as well. Oh, somebody's gone off in the background. Fully locked up, and I think we need more rear bias. We need more. Oh, since I took that rear winger. In game spotter's not working. Normally they have a little chat to me at this point. Oh, look at that Porsche. Sounds amazing. Oh, so much slipstream. I'm going for seven from the reason one. <laughs> oh, if, oh, shortcut on the way in, I had to do it on the way out. We were going to have a big crash if I didn't do that. Nincompoop! No, that's his name, I'm not calling him that. 
pin the BMW slightly wide. Gonna hit the limiter maybe. Oh. Nick and Boop, you see, because that's his name, you can just keep saying it and you sound like you're being offensive. But you're not, I'm just saying his name. Nick and Boop. We slowed each other down. Maybe I needed a. ABS to be on. Oh, it's a GT, it doesn't have it. Come on, Matt, get your act together. Nink and poop. So, yeah, I'm hooked on saying that now. Whoa. Rafa, without stability, I have no grip in the bus stop. <laughs> oh, no. Neither have I, apparently. Oh, we're gaining on the leaders. They must have been battling through the uh, bus stop. These cars work so well around here. I wonder where all the older drive gang are. Normally the uh, voice channel's full of people having a giggle and a chat. Thin on the ground. Got a car facing the wrong way. DC was one of the leaders, third place man. Oh, he's gone deep, nink and poop. I just want to sit behind this nink and poop. That Porsche sounds fantastic. One of the best sounding cars in AMS too. Quite evenly matched on pace. I think I can get him at some point. But you need to be a bit more consistent. The leaders aren't too far away either. He's going very early on the brakes into the bus stop. I'm having a wobble. Oh, good slip straight. Can we get a side draft? The answer is no, we are so close. Had to use first gear as a bit of a handbrake there. Beamer's having a good dive into the corners. Gravy legs. We needed a tighter line. Closing in on second place, Rafa, who's having difficulty with stability through the bus stop. He's on a controller. He just lost a little bit of slipstream. Short shifted on the way out. Dusty's being kicked off. A 
Oh, where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Side by side. This is close racing. Fantastic racing. You can drive with us again, Nincompoop. I've got a feeling Nincompoop might have driven with us before and he's driving under a different name. As the haze drops across the Daytona circuit. Oh. oh, we are so wobbly through there. Car on the right of us. That BMW has been sniffing for a few laps now. Here he comes, he's got a massive drag. <laughs> oh, kicking up the dust again, Rafferies. And another puff of dust. Doesn't seem to be hitting the frame rate, only one frame rate drop there. Right, we need to settle back in. I'm very hazy here at Daytona. Mm -hmm. Has the leader gone? The leader spun. I was being extra cautious there because I didn't know whether he was going to try and attempt to rejoin. Hamburger had one of those really frustrating, annoying, silly spins. And one at Daytona can do that to you. Right, we're closing in on the front two. Running out of time. This lap and one more. And then we're off to Fontana, affectionately known as the Penis Track, for a very good reason when you see the shape of the track. What a move around the outside that was by Nincompoop. Oh! This brought us closer. The gravy legs is still hovering in the background in the rear view mirror. He's got a good slipstream as well. Good exit. Tiny bit too much wheel spin, but good exit nonetheless. This lap, do or die. Oh no! <laughs> Commentator's curse, there you go. Pushing it too hard, got all excited. Well, there you go. You knew it was going to happen. Raffer and Gravy Legs and Hamburg are all giggling away. Look what Matt just did on the last lap. Oh, hello, Hamburg. You've just done a weird thing. Oh, and again. Oh, Hamburg, have a look at that on the replay. Oh, 
caution to the wind. We are reeling hamburger back in, but his car is doing all sorts of weird things. Just about in the slipstream now, but nowhere near close enough to make a difference. Great racing, everybody. Fuck oh, that Porsche. Where did Lincoln Poop go? Let's chase him down and give him a flash. Hi, Mark. You're very quiet. <laughs> oh, I enjoyed that race. How was it for you, Derek? Off to Fontana, the penis track. Oh. Mine does it every now and again. Very rare, but it does happen. Yeah, um, yeah, mine drops in the uh, menus. It's like down to 64 now. 34, 54. Yeah, I prefer to cap it in the menus, to be honest. If I could cap it to 30, I'd be happy. There's no need for it to be chewing up resources in the menus. Right. Fontana. Oh, only the... Ev oh, that's knackered me up. Right, bear with. We can't do that one. So we will have a quick look at... Uh, can't do that one. But well, we can do this one instead. We've had a few issues... Uh, this afternoon evening in the fact that um, I've had to reboot AMS2 because it did the same as what it did on Tuesday night where it just lost the engine sound on the stream but I could hear the engine sound so very strange and then uh, I think Pete had to do the same Brie had a different problem They could be trying things in the background on the servers. Right, let's get chat back up. I've gone for the Formula Junior at this at Gapur. It'd be fun around there. Uh, Nibble it's off to walk the dog. Hope to race in about an hour. Yep, we should be there. Uh, there still niblets. Eddie, is the theme like they all lost uh, host twelve hours? Oh, I've read that already. I missed Eddie's. Rafa, focus so much on not spinning in the bus stop that I didn't have top speed. <laughs> well, my race was awful. <laughs> oh, it wasn't awful. Does anybody guess what the theme is? I thought somebody would, would have had the theme by now. We're on what? Race number six. So, they've all got 31 grid slots. Um, it's in alphabetical order. 
these are not the, not the, not the theme but the common thing about the circuits and it's the circuits that has has the theme can't believe nobody's guessed so far oh as well while we're here congratulations to jimmy broadbent and super steve super gt uh they got their win in the gt force at nurburgring the weekend it was looking doubtful for a while on the uh I think it was the practice or the qualifying day they were having technical issues but well done, well done to the sim racers well done to the sim racers <laughs> well done jimmy well done super gt excellent work and it was down to the last lap they were in second place on the last lap if i remember i might have got it wrong i think it was the last lap and they managed to get past Sergio, now my F3 going to be good. <laughs> it has to be. Yeah, it still might be a bit tricky. It can be a little bit slidey around some of these corners. So just be careful. You, you might be better off with a tiny bit more wing than you think on this circuit. Because it's only that that half decent straight. Cryx, spun in T1. Then again in the bus stop. Then somebody hit the tyre barrier in front of me and I couldn't avoid it. Oh no! Sound like my kind of race. <laughs> uh, really good question. Even Pete was asking that. He's... He was tired, so he's gone off for a bit of a break and something to eat. We had Peter Smith with us, but he pulled his right shoulder in race two, I think it was. Um, and then Darren joined for the last race. Now you're here, but I don't know where everybody else is. I see Gary's online, but I think Pete said he's playing a football game or something. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's a foreign, foreign, foreign language to me as well. I find it quite offensive, to be honest. I find the word itself offensive. Yeah. It's, 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 got to have, it's got to have four wheels, or it's got to be rugby. Those are about the only two things. Yeah, I like the um, the jet boats in America when they're going up and down the the rivers in them jet boats. Kind of brokey. Crash bank on the uh, on the on the exhaust on the little Formula Junior. I do enjoy these cars. Proper driver's car. Get it set up for the corner, then balance it on the throttle. Stick shifting. Watch out for the car tires. Oversteer, back to understeer. Just once the tyres warm up, if you can find just the nice balance and get nice four wheel drift, that's the fastest way to drive this little car on old rubber vintage tyres made out the same compound as truck tyres, I believe. So you can imagine how stiff they are and hard they are compared to the super sticky modern race tyres of the GTE that's coming past now. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <Is he going? laughs> well, on cold tyres, I think slow and steady wins the race. Too much. Especially in third gear. They soon turn into hot tyres, warm tyres. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Thank you so much for all those likes. That is very, very generous indeed, and it really does make a difference. You'll hear more and more channels saying it now. It 
Even Jardia, he was asking for likes the other day. I feel very vulnerable. <laughs> Join almost GT3 cars. Why are the Formula Juniors sh ghosted out on the uh, on the stack on the left of the top of the screen? What's all that? Ooh, what's going on there? Wait, Darren. <laughs> on your, uh, I know you're on VR, but do you have the um, oh, the positions of everybody on your headset somewhere that you can see? All of the Formula Juniors are ghosted out on that. So you see, I wonder why that is. I thought it was just mine, but it's on yours as well. Just been punted <laughs> by Mansilla in third in his uh, GT3. Here I am in my little Formula Junior, <laughs> drifting round one of the hairpins, and he's just giving me a right shove off the circuit. It's not nice, is it? Yeah, it's worked a treat. It's just enough out to. Uh, I didn't know whether I printed them strong. Well, not strong enough, but stiff enough. Um, but yeah, it's worked quite well. I don't know whether to have the throttle or not. And if I did, I might just have engine vibration with um, with gear change thump. I... Yeah, I can't think of what else to have on it really, and I don't want to overwhelm like those senses in the feet. And when I ran it in last night's um, championship race, at the end I'd actually got tingling in my toes and that's why I've had to turn it down it was too much Rafa cry both corners are very tricky T1 has a bump that throws your car off and the curves at the bus stop oh yeah oh hello <laughs> that bird GT3. I thought he was coming up the inside of me. <laughs> and I'm broadside. Too much slide, Matt. Stayed off the grass, though. Len, it's weird. Oh, I was driving right in front of you the whole lap. And in stream, I don't exist. Okay. So the only advice I can give if you're in a, a much slower car is to be predictable when you're being approached by a faster, faster class car. Be predictable. If you're in a decent position on track, obviously try and move over a little bit, make space. However, sometimes, like this section, it'd be very difficult to do that. So the only thing you can do in this section of the circuit is be predictable so they know that you're going to take the racing line and the faster cars that can then get around you. Too much again. That was better. A bit more balanced. Right, he's off. I hope he was impressed with my drifting. I bet he's jealous. You can't drift that thing. Even if you turn the traction control off, you can't drift it like this drifts. Thank you so much for all the likes. Really do appreciate that. And don't forget, this weekend there will... Hello. 
He's done it to me again. I'm sure that was the same car as before. No. I found a damp piece of grass. Might need to join off the racing line. Here it is. <laughs> that Formula 3 car with its aero it's flying past. Too much, too much, too much. That's better, that's better, that's better. Too much. <laughs> That's better. Seven tenths up. Right rear is a little bit hot, so we need to be careful through the next left hander. Little bit of left foot braking. Trying to find that apex, missed it by a country mile. We're a second up. Well, where are you going? Not a time for stutters. Oh, my two seconds up. How we got to survive that corner? Ooh. Where do we finish in our little uh, in our little Formula Junior? They're all ghosted for some reason. Are we the top one? No, Craig's just beat me. Oh, six tenths. When I say just beat me, <laughs> six tenths. He isn't just beating me. <laughs> I was delusional. Right. Has anybody guessed what the theme is yet? Think of all the tracks we've driven so far. We've done Bathurst, Campo Grande, Cascaval, Curvelo, Daytona. Now we're at Gapore. What is the theme? I'm not telling you till the end of the stream. I thought one of you would have it would have clicked and you would have gone, oh I know where it is. Len, Matt, I've got a feeling it's gonna be a good one. <laughs> I think you're gonna go, ah oh, yeah. It's 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 not an amazing thing. It's just a just a thing I did. I thought, oh, I know what we'll do. How about you make sure you give us a hint for good luck? I have. The hint is we've done Bathurst, Campo Grande, Cascaval, Cabello, Daytona and Gapur. It's been right in front of you the whole time. It doesn't matter what car you're driving, it's been right in front of you the whole time. Crikes, they all have mostly round corners. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> They're not hints if I saw them already. They are! <laughs> oh, I have no idea how many laps we're going to be doing there. I'll go that amount. Better save a temporary setup. I want to lose the fuel. Oh, the sky's got a funny colour.
Nice. <laughs> then. <laughs> hey, yeah, I believe it. Then, Crikes, when we get to the end of the stream for the last race, you will go, oh, yeah. In fact, I've stolen the last track. This was supposed to be the last track. I need to find out. There is a, another one I can use that's still within the theme. Mark, Darren, there's people in YouTube chat and they're pulling their air out because there's a theme to the tracks we've driven so far. And it is to do with the tracks and nobody can guess what the theme is. And it's doing everybody's idiot. And I'm not saying until, until the end of the live stream. Yes, a, a deliberate theme and it's not... It's just coincidence that it's in alphabetical order so far. Oh, Mark. Hold well on. <laughs> Good luck. So, somebody in Discord has just guessed the theme. And race number six. The speed these GTEs are coming in at. Don't shove a little car out of the way. Oh, a bit of stuttering from all the crashes that are going on. Right, let's catch these GTEs and show them what it's all about. Where did they come from? Squeeze me! Slipstream! Thank you so much for all the likes. If you haven't already, please consider giving it a thumbs up on the live stream. Don't be shy, say hi in chat as well. Thank you so much to the new subscribers as well. Great having you on board. Oh, we've got another one coming. See what we can do. Where did he go? That car's just disappeared. Oh, there he is again. I've tried to give you room. I think... I think... Oh. <laughs> Have you got the longest name in AMS2? Audi A5. <laughs> Sergio. <laughs> Got a spinner. Get out of my way, white ass. <laughs> oh no, I've gone wide. <laughs> I bought that on myself. Lovely drift out of there. Good slipstream. school swapping places
<laughs> I thought something might happen. <laughs> as soon as I saw we, as soon as I saw we were going to be three wide, I thought. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I thought if we can pull this off it'll look really on oh my word that GTA <laughs> all the F3 cars nearly as great He's just punted me off. <laughs> no, it was that GTE coming through. I'm being blue flagged already. A three car coming through. And a GT. Oh my word, the GT cars are just smashing me out of the way. Well, I survived better than the GT did. Uh oh, uh oh, Grover League, stay there, stay there. Got a car either side of me now. <laughs> I don't know, you're doing it without mirrors, Mark. <laughs> why can't these faster cars just overtake you? If they're so much faster, why have they got to keep running into you? <laughs> it makes no sense to me. <laughs> Crikes, is the theme anti-clockwise? Oh, you find out at the next track. Oh, I nearly had it. Them tyres are so warm now. That amount of full wheel drift is what you need. Another blue flag. I wonder if this one crashes into me as well. There you go. That's how you do it. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, go. Half a second up on our previous. Six tenths up on our previous. Ooh. Get out of my way.
Too much, too much, too much. <laughs> See, three managed to get past me without crashing into me. Cheat. Got a happy, happy slap five UGT cars. So retire. <laughs> yeah, with, the, with the amount of speed difference there is, there is absolutely no need for any of these really fast cars to make contact with the slower cars. Uh, I survived that one. Just about. He's upside down over the hedge. <laughs> it's not coming back for me. <laughs> too wide, too wide, too wide. Out on the dirty bit. Don't hit me, don't hit me. I'm sliding. You have more control, well done. Don't it, me? <laughs> there you go, you can do it. Oh, oh I don't know where I'm going to end up. Big glitches. Whoever that was, I am so sorry. If you watch the live stream back, you will see it. I had no. One more to go. No, 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 no. Knew as soon as I got it there. Thank you so much for all the likes. That's really, really nice of you. And thank you for joining. We are on race six here at Gapur in one of our now infamous multi-class races with a real mixed bag of cars. Plenty of choice. Choice for those that have got DLC. Choice for those that have got the base content. And obviously, with me having pretty much all the DLC, I can use tracks that you don't have to own. Oh, 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 what's going on there? Shadow Studios, will there be more races? They certainly will. There'll be at least two more. Well, quite long, Shadow. Hutchie, uh, I read that one. Len, okay, Craig, you're the witness. I got murdered so hard on the last lap. You saw that. <laughs> yes, unfortunate. Lol. <laughs> I like the way it was unfortunate, but you still got a lol. <laughs> oh dear, I enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. Right, we are gonna go to 
we are going to go to gateway and we need i think i'm going to go uh, i don't know what to go for do i risk the f3 car or the porsche cup or oh, porsche cups looks tempting <coughs> Shadow, we'll join on the next one. No worries. Those GTR cars are stupidly fast. They certainly are, especially on that track. Right, here's a challenge. You've got three minutes to get to 40 likes. I bet you can't do it. Bet you out there can't do it. Three minutes. Bet you. Bet you can't do it. Bet you can't get 40 likes on the channel. I'm going to have a quick drink while well, I've got the opportunity. I did want to look at something else. Right? Turn one was a mess. Couldn't have. <laughs> it was. Right. This, whilst we're waiting for that to load up, let's go to... I don't know whether this is going to work. We'll soon find out. Oh, it did. There we go. MSVT Racing in the UK are offering the Clio Cup. So basically, if you've got the right dri driving li license, as in race license, you can pay just £6,000 and it gives you 12 races around the country. Brands Hatch, Anglesey, which is a nice track, Snetterton 300, Donington Park, Alton Park International, Brands Hatch, Indy. I think that del it delivers really good value if obviously you can afford it. So there you go. Check out msvt racing you can drive a clio cop around all these tracks two rounds at each track i thought that was worth a little look let's have a look at the racing calendar as well we have got lots happening all around the world this weekend sport for choice there's a link to this calendar race racingcalendar.net down in the description and it gives world war worldwide circuit calendars and we got brands hatch metro mg metro couple there i bet there's not many of them left in the country in the world even a civic cop the caterums are there as well i think oh no the caterums at snetterton buxton is a uh quarter mile tarmac oval <coughs> so yes there's plenty going on in the world around the country at this weekend oh the members meeting at goodwood i'd like to go there one day ipswich stadium another tarmac quarter quarter mile oval so we've got this set to 300 entries per page <laughs> and we've got two pages worth So don't say there's not enough racing in the world. It certainly is. Oh, Hanksford Hills. It's where, where my father first started racing, mate. Back in the 19, early 1960s, before it was tarmacked. There you go. Sydney Motorsport Park. There we go, got the caterums, mixture of them. The 310 is kind of, is it 310? No, the 270 is the super light, if I remember. We've got the Silverstones, we've got the Outlaws. V8s and the Historics, they're quite entertaining. Pittsburgh, Alton Park. What have we got at Alton Park? Got ADAC 24 hour at the Nürburgring. There you go. AMS 2's loaded up now. Go and check out that calendar. Go and see if there's something you're interested in.
if we got to 40 likes as well well done everybody <laughs> oh you're always up for the challenge Eddie uh, Matt uh, thanks for the races I think I'll have to watch back for the answer I'll put you out your misery I'll put you out your misery it's uh Crikes got it right I think further back up there they're all anti-clockwise tracks this to the, today there's more than I realized in uh, AMS 2 warming up my tires we're on race 7 this will be interesting in this car there's a few corners that will really test the uh, Porsche Cup car people are really getting into it by the looks of it <coughs> well I, did, I was honest with you I said it's been right in front of your face every race it's been right in front of your face I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't telling fibs I was teasing but I wasn't lying to you oh <laughs> really slow tight apex on the exit of that corner and then another really tight switch back oh, catch it oh nearly had the nose off that mercedes then Away we go. Let's see if we can get a lap in. I'm gonna hit. Oh no, I'm not. Wide line, that tight apex on the way out. Oh, at least he qualifying. <laughs> oh dear. No idea where that's going to put us. Brakes way too early. I had to go back on the throttle into the braking zone, which isn't ideal. I'll really upset the car. These curves are humongous. Come on, T Bird. Oh, I to, uh, it, it was like it was like a. <laughs> it was like nothing on it. No, it was. It was like. It was, I can't talk. <laughs> It was like a drift, a drifting approach to getting around that car. Then. There's one of our new subscribers in front, Audi A5. Oh, it's going to be absolute carnage into turn one with these pick. No, I'm missing it. I failed out. <laughs> Didn't survive. <laughs> How is Len getting that fast in the uh, Porsche Cup? He must have had, had an empty track. Well, what's, what's that? Uh, 20 laps of fuel. That's not going to help. Four minutes left. I need to control my right foot with this car. It's a very difficult thing to do. Cold tyres leading to warm tyres. Thank you so much for all those likes. You've played the game an absolute treat. And yes, the theme of today's... Oh, 
live stream is where all, all the tracks were anti-clockwise tracks or counterclockwise however you say they all went that way around let's get Timmy Turbo your brain says not to do, stay out this wide but it's the only way to get this final apex More control on the brake and throttle through that one. Smooth that one. And it drift wide. Aim for the bit of wall that tucks back just there. Oh! That realisation of, have I just touched the grass? <laughs> and the answer is yes. <laughs> Let's try that again. Thank you so much for joining the live stream and the like in the live stream and joining in chat. Absolutely brilliant to have you all with us for a first night fun lobby. Oh dear. Do we have a... Do we have a clearish track in front of and behind? Oh, we're on the dust. Get round. Right, there's a car behind us. Now I'm getting that silly stutter again. Right. Priority tomorrow is to get in touch with Riser and say what the hell is going on here. Let's do my Eddie. The only that stutter that you just saw on screen only ever happened in ranked races for me before. Got away with that one. I knew it was going to be close. That's not where you want to be for that corner. This car coming around, stay on the grass, then come past. I'm very quiet on Discord. I think they're concentrating. Because we don't race this circuit very often. Oh, look at the gaggle of cars in front of me. Half a second up. Where's he going? going sideways as slow as the Corvette and that Corvette will be quicker in a straight line than me top speed <laughs> we're not getting another lap in and we would have been half a second up where would that up for us Ooh. That would have put us in around Mark Redmond in 14th. He was struggling to get a clean lap as well.
What time is she doing? Darren's doing 55s. That's well, 12, 11, 12, 13 laps. That'll do. That'll do. Shadow, unsure, won't let me load into the lobby. Ah, uh, can you... So you can see the lobby, but when you click it... Oh, it's because you, you've missed the two-minute cut-off. Uh, when you're sitting there trying to get into a lobby, if there's two minutes or less before the race starts, AMS2 won't let you join the race. It'll let you join the lobby and watch, but it won't let you join the race. Oh, it's much. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. Eddie, yes, I think we have a nerf lobby. Couldn't get back in even before the cutoff. No. How many is in? 22. Well, it's not full. We may have an issue with the lobby again. Uh, it won't let me continue, no. No, it was worse when it was auto advancing. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Uh, we got to wait for somebody's locking the lobby into this situation it's in. So we've got to wait for somebody to leave. Because I can't even, without going to uh, Steam and killing AMS stuff, I can't even get out. Uh, well, there's another, somebody else, Shadow Studios, couldn't get in. And then Eddie said he couldn't get in either. He left to change his car. And then Somberg has got the same, so I think it's going to be a, a kill, kill, kill the game and start again. We could always go straight into race and have a really mixed up grid, couldn't we? Ah, oh, Smudge, that's boring. But Smudge, 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 you're boring me now. <laughs> I'm glad Darren said that and not me. Imagine the abuse I'd get if it was me. No, new lobby. No, it's not letting me do anything right. I've got to go Steam. In the game. There we go. Start again. Oh, we're starting to get updates for the beta on a regular basis by the looks of it, so might be edging closer to another update. <laughs> Sounds about right. So we're going to have a lobby number three and we're going to go straight to the race with a random grid start. Oh. 
Same rice's arms, um, right? So keep that same. Do we have to keep it on so we can adjust it? If we turn it off, do we lose it altogether? I think we do, don't we? So if I leave it on and do a very short five minute, one hot lap, everything else should be the same. Yeah, everything else is the same. Right, new lobby's up. Who's going to be the first one in? Sim Racer's Arms 3 is up and live. It's a five minute quality. So it'll be a one one lap wonder. <laughs> Sim Racers three. <laughs> Marks are first in. Hutch is back in. Lane's back in. Crikes is back in. Eddie B is back in. Bumfold, brilliant name, is back in. Somberg's in. We will have to go through a world war to get a clean lap again. Well, it's worse now. You've only got five, five, five minutes to quality. Niblitz is in. Teeny Weeny Gnome is in. Have you seen that other one, Darren? Teeny Weeny Gnome. <laughs> oh, yeah. Unbelievable. 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 <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't believe it. Set up a brand new lobby just for Dara. And he's, he's not joining us. <laughs> oh dear. And that Audi A5 2. A, a, I can't even speak now. A, Audi A5 2 litre Ambition Estronic. He's all the way in Brazil. Yes. Uh, I think he's got it. And his real, real name is Sergio. I like but I like bumfold as well for some reason. <laughs> well all I can say is at least the weather was slightly better today. Right, let's get this one going. Eddie, is he Penfold's brother? <laughs> I was thinking it could well be, or at least his cousin. Hamburger VR battery warning. Oh no. <laughs> Sergio's the only F3 on the grid. Brave man. I, I got a feeling you're going to be bullied. Let's see, let's see if you can make this one. Oh, look at that. How many likes you guys are superb. Thank you very much. If you haven't already, you know what to do. Give that little thumbs up a little bit of a click. Oh, Mark, I've got an extra one lined up here. You do. I didn't, I didn't know you was doing a Darren tune. What, what what would you like to do, uh, Mark? You've got a choice. You've got a choice. You've got a choice of uh, Ibarra reversed, which is the one that's in the mountains with the water, a uh, big lake in the middle. But that's the, the reverse one, obviously. Uh, got Imola, historic, 2001, 88, 72. Uh, got Indianapolis. The Oval only, um, Interlagos, all of the tracks, Jacapor, sorry, Jacapagua, I've got to say that right, practiced it enough bleeding times, all of the tracks, uh, Kailami GP, Laguna Seca, oh, you can't have Laguna, Kailami, did you say? Okie doke. And then further down the, uh, 
What, what, what? Who? Still a few places. And then you got... Th you got things like Vela Park, Velocita, Taruma. Santa Cruz, Desault. Can you believe it, Smudge? Can you believe that Darren's leaving us now? <laughs> he, he knew he was going to get bullied. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, Smudge is in the GTE. It's really quick round here, Smudge, in the GTEs. You've only got three and a half minutes left to get a lap in. Hold tight, everybody. It's showtime. Oval! <laughs> We're on an oval! Stop it! Why is he doing that? Frame rate's still okay. It's just something really weird. I missed that wall. Oh, okay. Caught it. Shifting. Oh. Concentrating. Thank you so much for all those likes. That's very, very generous of you. Puts a big smile on my face when I look up and see those numbers. You are such a lovely bunch of people. What a fantastic community. Has Jard Yeager got his first race yet? Because he's, he's racing the Clio, is he? Or has he had a race already? I've lost touch. I like Jardy. That's a happy chappy. That's what we need more of in the world. Don't knacker up my race. Ah, oh, it's cost me three tenths hours, maybe more. We might get one more lap. I thought we were going to miss it, but we clicked it. Compromise our speed over the line. We're up three tenths. Come on. Oh, we've got a big spin out. Lost two tenths sliding too far. A 
Come on. Come on. Oh. Nine tenths off. Crikes. The fastest Porsche Cup car. We're still at the uh, decent end of the grid. Sergio F3 is fast on this track. I should hope he has it. Should hope, oh, I can't speak, mate. <laughs> I should hope it is with all that downforce. I need to do something. I won't be two seconds. I just need to do something. I'm back. I forgot I'd left the door open. I, the place is going to be full of bugs at this rate. With the, yeah, I'm being attacked already. Alright, let's get going. No idea how many laps we were going to do. Just assuming it was uh, over one minute per lap. <laughs> Crikes. No worries, Len. Let's make it. Yes, it could be memorable for many, many, many reasons. Race number seven. Maybe able to squeeze one more in. And it was going to be Kyle Army. GP track. And yes, all of these have been anti-clockwise or anti-clockwise or counterclockwise tracks in today's stream. That's been the theme, along with the fact that they've all had 31 grid slots. This, 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 if you enjoy carnage, if, if you, if you like car crash videos and carnage, this, this is going to be right up your street. So here we go. If you like carnage, if you like car crashes, don't look away. It's all about to happen. Got the magnetized car syndrome going on. Oh, <laughs> somebody's attacked that. <laughs> Ended up in the tires. squeeze through <laughs> lane's coming back <laughs> where do I get back on <laughs> where's the track no I'm on the wrong side of the track <laughs> <laughs> I think we can get through there. Come on, first gear. Oh.
<laughs> Definitely memorable now. <laughs> if I see you in front of me on this track, Len. <laughs> Slipstream. <laughs> You're just a turtle floundering. Oh. Where's that car coming back on to join? Oh. Oh, it's just behind me. Oh, I've got nothing sympathy. No, there's no inside line there. If you look to the left turn while you'll see me. Make sure to wait. Try and remember. Stay at the wall, stay at the wall. The car in front was compromised. You got so much understeer. Oh, there you are, Ling. You've just disappeared as I got to you. I was just about to wave. No, no, thank you. I think that left rear tyre is slightly on the warm side. Oh, the right rear has gone as well. Let it roll, let it roll. <laughs> no worries, Lee. It's quite entertaining, really, especially when I realised I weren't going to make it back on the track. Or the right part of the track, I should say. Well, there's no call in that rear tyre down, so we're just going to have to work with it. If we have any stutters, I want them to be on the uh, straight. I had a little tap. Still having a tap. Is that Hutchie? You, can, you can't resist, can you, Hutchie? You see the, the rear end I've got, and you just can't resist reaching out and just having a little touch at least she was nice and gentle dc hello there's literally no opportunity to read chat on this track there might be the next lap if i don't have anybody in front of me to get out of the throttle that much. Feather in the throttle, trying to balance the understeer. He's going wide. Short shifting. Just borrowed the side of his car, just to keep me in a straight line. Whoa, 
work our way back through this field. All on and off the brakes, trying to balance that slide. Uh oh, uh oh, where's he going? We'll go that side. <laughs> where, did, where did that car come from? I completely messed up my line through there. How did he get that much grip through there? <laughs> Gonna have to take a hit. That's concentrating. Oh, hello. We're doing drifting competitions again. Oh, we'll leave them battling behind. He's got massive speed through there compared to me. Oh, he's gone wide. Sorry, DC. I will. I just tried to read your your chat. However, this car has decided it needs my attention. I will read it any minute now. Well, any two minutes now. This corner is. Oh, don't do it now. He's carried on round. Oh, hello. Have I just found a little, little nice little tree. Welcome to AMS Two's. Drifting with the Porsche top cars. Brand new. Me and Hutchie are going to do our best entertaining drifting for you. Cheese, Gromit, cheese! In the 1974 Porsche RSR. Is it one more? Is that the last load? One more? Battling. Battling the tyres. There it goes. Oh, Hutch has gone behind. The pressure's off the last two corners. Oh, <laughs> famous last words. It was very nearly a commentator's curse. There's plenty of that in the race as well. Another one? What's going on? Oh, 
Oh, Niblitz is gone. Oh, we nearly got out of the way. We're low on fuel as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you so much for those likes. Can we get to 45 likes? Could do lovely donuts in these Porsche Cup cars by feathering the throttle. You should be able to hold the steering wheel straight like that. There we go. Balanced it. <laughs> well, a bit of carnage as predicted. Hutchie, tyres on fire. There's a song there. DC, okay, now that's strange. How did you know I had raced with you before, but with a different name? Is my late breaking. <laughs> I don't know, DC. I didn't know it was you, but I guessed that we'd raced before. Sergio, I got kicked. Oh, no. Oh, hello. I was having trouble. Don't like my ears, these. Sm smudge i feel your pain because all i did was change from a usb c headset to this headset which has got the three and a half mil jacks straight into the back of the pc and it took me half a day to get it working for the stream when i changed them over why why changing headset should make such a difference i don't know Yeah. the trouble with them big heavy graphics cards though yeah little support towers yeah <laughs> Gotta, you gotta start, take that, are you, Smidge? the tyres were melting they certainly were you, you just had to take them to like 117 degrees and just keep them there <laughs> so Joe oh sorry guys can we try old Formula 1 cars uh, we can do them maybe next week this will be the what time yeah this is going to be the last race of the stream I'm afraid <laughs> and the theme if you've come back to see what the theme of the evening all the tracks we ran today were anti-clockwise. Whatever you want to, but I'm using the Delara F309 to see if that's improved at all. 
I, I tend to spin out a lot in the F3s. It should be fun. I don't think it's going to be quite as much carnage as the last track. That gateway is one of those tracks that not many people use on a regular basis, so uh, a bit of carnage. And the rear tyres on that Porsche are cocky. Yeah. Sergio, unfortunately the track from Curitiba was destroyed. Samba, the Curitiba track doesn't exist anymore. No. Hasn't it been turned into like housing or something? Or um, housing estate or industrial estate? I can't remember. I did read it somewhere. DC, oh no, I'm so bad. I'm sorry, DC. Eddie, I must run away. Thank you for the racing all. Catch you all next time. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you very much. If you haven't, remember to hit that. Remember to hit, I've got to do it this way because the mic's this way. Remember to hit the like if you haven't already. No way, I'm so sad. I knew I uh, got rid of the centre track for the Olympics. Yet, yeah, so stupid. Yeah, it is a shame. Uh, Len. All right, Matt and Chat, time for me to say, have a great weekend and take care. Get yourselves some rest this weekend. Love you guys until the next time. See you. <laughs> Lane. Thank you, Len. Have a great weekend as well. Watch some real motorsport the weekend and then do a bit of sim racing and then watch a bit more real motorsport. And if you watch any sim racing, make sure you... It doesn't matter whose channel you land on or what video or what live stream you land on. Do the creator a massive, massive favour and just simply hit the like if nothing else. It doesn't matter what it is, just hit the like. Ooh, the brakes. The brakes are grabby. Oh, we've got plenty of understeer. Cold tyres again. I haven't driven this car for a, a few months. I've not even recorded the three lap challenge yet, and I, want, I was going to do a double double header with a bonus. I've been disconnected. Has everybody been? Has everybody been disconnected? Because I've been disconnected. Right, I'll try and rejoin my rejoin my own final lobby then. <laughs> Let's see if I can get in. <laughs> you back back on form. You 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 wait till I see you, Smudge. I'm gonna smack your bare ass. <laughs> there was a long delay there. Oh, he's not happy. <laughs> oh, dear. Eddie, who's back again? I forgot to like. Situation resolved. <laughs> Thank you. We're so close. We're one away from 50 likes. Can we do it? Uh, we're one away from 50 likes on the uh, live stream. Has any, anybody not liked? But... <laughs> Well, put that to one side and hit that bloody like button. <laughs> hey, thank you. I still want yours, Mark. I can't believe it, Mark. I can't believe I've got to come in and ask the question. Right, we may get into our own lobby. <laughs> Everybody's pings are so bad. Begging. Uh, you see, I don't, I don't feel so bad now because I, I saw Jardier the weekend and he, he, he got five hundred summit likes on his uh, live stream and he was still asking for more, so I don't feel so bad. Okay, it says I'm in, but I'm not in.
How many, how many people are in the lobby? Can somebody tell me? You see, yeah, this is going to sound crazy, but I alt tabbed when I, it was loading and then you crashed. I think maybe that's why. <laughs> Potentially, but I don't think so. It, it, it's been a bit twitchy the last few since we had version one one point five point six. It's been a bit twitchy. The lobbies have been a bit not very stable. I'm going to upset everybody in a minute, and I'm going to say new new lobby for the last race. It's, it's because I haven't driven. You see, saying this. Uh, saying the space in there it's not letting me in there unbelievable it's all right mark mark is in uh discord and i'm seeing if he notices that he's been uh voted to be kicked Yeah, he's so he's so jolly about it all. What's not to like? Yeah, and he handles it all pretty well. I mean, he does have a bit of a rant every now and again when he has like crazy things happening in the race. But uh, yeah, he's, an, he's a good kid, and he's got a really nice dog as well. That uh, white Alsatian that he's got. Have you got boxes? How old are they? Ah, oh, excellent. What what colour are they? Bring Brindle or Tan or Oh no, it's tough. Yeah, really tough. I'm with you on that one. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We, we we lost our last dog, uh, Ruby, a Cocker Spaniel. And she was like the best dog we had in the family, literally the whole family. Oh, apart from my sister's dog, they were about equal in temperament and everything. Um, and we've only just put one photo up in the house of Ruby. And she went four years ago. It's took that long. The missus couldn't have a picture in, like, in the house. <laughs> yeah yeah Yeah, yeah. Right. Simulator's Arms 4 is up. Sorry, Spudge, to uh, jump in. No, it wouldn't let me in. No, Smudge, it's, it's horrendous. And we, we, the wife keeps asking for another, and I keep saying no. Because <laughs> he's... Yeah, I remember. Quiet and empty, yeah.
नहीं लो भाई ये आई लव लव बॉक्सेस या Yeah, it's uh, the only time I ever saw my gra my grandfather on my father's side cry was when he lost his dog, um, a West Island White Terrier, and I think it was their first dog, and that was the only time. And he was of that era that men don't cry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we, we, uh, we had, um, a garden planter, uh, and bought a rose the same colour she was, and we put her ashes in the planter, so every time the rose flowers, it's a nice memory. Yeah. <laughs> you put me off just as I got to the hairpin. <laughs> Had a big wobble. The only thing our Ruby used to drag us to was a pub. If he was anywhere near a pub, she used to perform like there was no tomorrow. She'd be barking and screaming and like you'd have to go in the pub and have a drink or have something to eat. And, and of course she'd make... Fr <laughs> yeah, she went... She got as she got older. She got worse when it come to uh, you couldn't go anywhere and walk past the pub without her really performing.
That's a way car. <laughs> Rainbow Road. What track is this, Speed Goat? This is Kailami in South Africa. Looks like Interlagos. Uh, I suppose it does a little bit with the uh, elevation changes. No, it's in South Africa. Kailami. It's a good track, actually. It's bottoming out there. Oh, what? This is, doesn't feel too bad. I used to really struggle with the uh, F3 car. Famous last words. <laughs> no worries, Spigo. Your best mate is South African. Nice place. Yeah, the the political situation. Yeah, but we're a country though, with all the wildlife, coastline. I think people need to just slow down sometimes and realise where they are. I know it's easily said than done, but maybe I'm a simple guy. I had a, uh, one of my old neighbours from years ago uh, went on a safari trip. South Africa and he'd been all over the world and done lots of things lots of places and the only place he kept wanting to go back to was South Africa after that safari trip well it depends where it's the same as everywhere isn't it at the end of the day everywhere has got places where you probably wouldn't want to go Ooh, that bottom in there, it's at the bottom of the compression. Oh, there we go. That was my fault. I was still on the brakes as I turned in. Open wheelers will bite you if you do that. Lives in Sweden there. Another nice country. Expensive but nice. Too light. That corner is down there, so the car will get bottomed out. So yeah, it definitely does. Well, that's what crossed my mind. I thought I might just jack it up a couple of mil, and then I thought, well, the rest of the... Apart from the curves, the rest of the circuit, it's running fine, and you just think to yourself, is it, is it going to unbalance the car for the rest of the circuit if I uh, jack it up in the air a little bit? Well, that Porsche's in trouble. <laughs> Didn't know which way it was going to end up. <laughs> Brakes work. do better than this. I love the fact that AMS2 now demands that you respect the throttle. There was a time where you just get it set up for the corner and just mash the pedal. But now you kind of got to be thinking of feathering the throttle. Half throttle, quarter throttle. Right, let's see if we can... Uh, Jump up the leaderboard a little bit more. I might just about have enough fuel to get round. <laughs> Spoke too soon. We were two tenths up. Oh, seven tenths. Okay, be brave. I think that's what I've just learnt. Oh, 
Oh no, it's done it again. Me too. Yeah, that's the end, I think. I wonder why he's doing that. It's very strange. Yeah, it's uh, top of the priority list for tomorrow. Find out what's going on. Because I, I can't remember which dev it was, but they got in touch through the uh, forum and they asked for my uh, in-game name. And literally, ever since I've gave them that, it's been doing this. So I think they've got some kind of thing on the server that recognises you setting up a lobby and then it's rec like recording all the data from your lobby. And the way it's recording the data is very similar to the way the ranked racing isn't bug out and play up. <coughs> but the, I, they asked if um, they did ask uh, for multiplayer testers, and I got in touch and said, "Why, why don't you join me on a Tuesday and Thursday when I'm filling lobbies?" And they didn't get back in touch, and, and all they asked for was the uh, username. So I'm guessing they've just like set the server to record what's happening in these lobbies, and it's just like disconnecting and giving glitches and all sorts. So I'll message him tomorrow and just see what. Since since you've done that, this is what's happening. Really? <coughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not as not as bad as this, but it was. Right, I'm going to uh, sign off from uh, the live stream because I don't think we're going to win. It could, it could even be this track and car combo that's causing it. There's been stranger things happening in the AMS too. Right, I'll catch you in a second. Sonberg, been kicked, got disconnected. Still in, but only nine. Yeah, people couldn't get in either. Disconnection galore, still managed to stay in. Just saw everyone teleport in front of me. Yeah, I think that's it. Unfortunately, we didn't get to finish race number eight of the live stream. I do apologise. It hasn't been this bad ever. <laughs> and I'm pretty convinced it's what I've just outlined to the guys over on Discord. So I will get in touch with Riser and just say, whatever you're doing, can you take me off the list? Because you're destroying the lobbies. <laughs> So, you know what I'm going to say next. Thank you so much for all the likes. We've hit 50 likes. 51 would be nice. It's never enough. You know what it's like. And take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And please, please have a fantastic rest of your day. Have a fantastic Friday and weekend. And I will hopefully see you on Tuesday. It'd be great to have you all back. And... Let's be careful out there. Till the next time, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you to everybody in chat. Thank you to everybody who took part in the races. And hopefully next week we'll have more stable lobbies than this. It hasn't happened like this. from I can't remember. Have a great one. See you all later.